The tech industry is scrambling with yet another threat to our online security, this time through Wi-Fi. To explain how it could affect us all, I'm joined by cyber expert Lani Rafiti. Uh, Lani, good afternoon to you. It seems like we are coming across a new hacking threat almost every week. Yes, unfortunately, Eva, that does seem to be the trend these days. And I think as we use technology more and more, particularly online for business, these types of threats will become more and more prevalent. Now, this particular one is a flaw in the security mechanism we use to protect Wi-Fi. Now, Wi-Fi being the most widely uh, used way that we connect to the, the internet and businesses and homes, uh, means that potentially an attacker could just be within 20 or 30 metres of your home or premise and potentially be able to steal the data that's sent between your phone or your computers and your wireless gateway. And if you think about what we're sending these days over our business and home networks, it could be banking passwords, financial uh, statements, could be intellectual property, which is why the industry is treating it so seriously. I have seen some advice online that until a solution is devised that we should actually be turning off our Wi-Fi in our homes. Is that, is that a little extreme? Yeah, it probably is a little extreme and overkill in all but a few cases. Um, as I said, Wi-Fi is so widely used that disconnecting it would be akin to disconnecting connecting yourself from the internet. No, look, what users are better off doing is just making sure that they apply the updates that are made available from their manufacturers. Think of Google, Apple, Microsoft being the most common ones. As they make those updates available, make sure you apply them. Better still, ensure that your devices are set to automatically download and update them so you don't have to worry about them. Uh, Lani, do you think uh, the strength of your password can protect you? Can that, can that actually make a difference? Good, I, good idea, but unfortunately in this case, no. No, but in general, look, strong passwords are a great idea, along with not reusing those passwords across different sites, and also, if available, use a second method of authentication. So think of a, an SMS uh, code sent to your phone or a banking token that the bank gives you for online banking. Okay, now for the, for the average person that's not super tax tech savvy, a bit like myself, where can we go for advice on these sorts of things? Look, that's a great question and <laughs> on the screen your viewers will see a couple of websites that are maintained by the uh, Australian Government. Look, it's often said that prevention is better than the cure and if that's true then staying informed is the best method of prevention. So those two websites will give uh, viewers, you're either at home or in businesses, enough information not only on this you know, incident but uh, others as well. And I can't stress the importance of, of staying informed if you want to prevent yourself from being affected by these types of incidents. Yeah, that is some great advice. Lani Rafiti, thank you so much for joining You're us. You're welcome.